Before we get started, shout out to Isabella. Notice how she worked really hard to spell all of her heart words correctly. Also, shout out to Delvin. Delvin has been working really hard on using neat handwriting. Way to go, scholars. Hi, scholars. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Writing with Miss Phipps. For today's lesson, you'll need your YouTube workbook and a pencil. In writing today, we'll review making a clear argument. But first, we need to talk about our opinion. What does opinion mean? That's right. Your opinion is what you believe. Right now, you'll turn to page 32 and we'll talk more about your opinion and a topic sentence for your writing today. Page 32 looks exactly like this. I'm excited to hear your opinion for this prompt. What is the best part of summer? Summer is great for so many reasons, but what is your opinion? You can take a moment and brainstorm some ideas. Do you usually go to camp in the summer? Do you like to go to the beach a lot? Once you have your opinion about what is the best part of summer, we'll work on your topic sentence. Your topic sentence tells your reader what you'll write about. This is what I wrote for my topic sentence, but yours might be different. Read it with me. The best part about summer is the hot weather. Remember, your topic sentence tells your reader what you'll write about. When you have an opinion, you need to give reasons to convince your reader. You also need to add details. Read my first reason with me. One reason I like the hot weather is because I can play catch outside. I like to play with my friends in the sun. That's a great first reason, but I really want to make my argument strong. So I want to include a second reason. I wrote, also, I love going to the beach. I know how to build the best sand castles. I know that's a convincing reason because the summertime is the best time to go to the beach when the weather is nice and the sun is shining. Here's my last reason. Notice how I give details. Read it with me. Finally, I enjoy eating ice cream. It's a great sweet treat to cool you down. I enjoy eating ice cream in the hot weather but I also gave details. It's a great sweet treat to cool you down. Now we don't just want to leave our reader hanging there. We need to write our conclusion. A conclusion is an ending. It helps you remind your reader one last time about your opinion. Read my conclusion with me. The hot weather in summer makes activities so much fun. Hi scholars, thanks so much for writing with me today. Remember, your writing doesn't have to look exactly like mine. We want to know your opinion. You should start with your topic sentence. Tell your reader what you're writing about. You also want to convince your reader with at least three reasons. How many reasons? That's right, at least three reasons with supporting details and how should you end your writing? That's right, you should end with a conclusion. And if you're up for the challenge, you can write an interesting hook at the very, very beginning. We can't wait to see all of your amazing writing. Until next time.